attracting visitors with engaging content, building trust with helpful information, delighting customers with human connection and amazing value. It's the inbound movement. Interruption marketing is dead. Long live the customer. Hi, Tom, inbound movement. This is Dan Moe with Talons Out Honor Flights. We uh, fly our World War II veterans to Washington, D.C. to honor them for their service. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we just really want to uh, help to spread our message using inbound marketing. How would you say uh, we should do that? Is there a particular thing, you know, persona we should be reaching? Uh, how would the inbound movement help us spread our message? Thanks so much. Dan, thank you for your question, and thank you so much for being a part of the Southwest Michigan Towns Out Honor Flight. For any of you who don't know, Honor Flight is a network. It's a nonprofit organization created solely to honor Americans' veterans for their sacrifice. They fly the veterans to D.C. for a day to show them the memorials built in their honor. And, and what a great organization here to feature on Veterans Day. And Dan, what a great question, because when inbound marketing comes, a lot of people say, well, my customers aren't online. A lot of the World War II vets aren't on social media. They aren't online all the time. So the first inclination is, how can I make that work for me? One of the examples that I like to use is diamond rings. And sometimes you don't always have to go after the purchaser, the buyer, but you can go after the influencer also. And I think this is where we can learn something here for Honor Flight. If you think about it, most diamond engagement rings are, are, are bought by males probably the ages of 20 to 30. But when was the last time you saw uh, De Beers run an ad on a football game? They don't do that. They go ahead and they focus on the, the influencer. So they're running those ads where the women in their 20s to 30s are so that they can go ahead and suggest things to the purchaser, their fiancé. So with that, I'm going to take the, that same view and say, okay, so maybe the, you can't reach the, the vets as easily. You know, they're, they're not online as much. There's fewer of them. So how are you going to reach them? Because really it's a race against time. Um, these men have given so much and uh, they're in their last chapter, the last paragraph of their life, and we need to get in touch with them quickly. So here's how I want to talk about the influencer and the amplification. Go ahead and look at focusing on those people that are close to them. You could go ahead and, and target the grandchild that says, wow, that is neat. I've got to tell grandpa about that. Or um, the child, the, the person that says, dad would love that. So trying to, to do that, and if you look, about, look at it, there's a limited uh, a number, probably getting smaller every day, of these veterans. But the people that influence them, their kids, their grandkids, that's expanding all the time. So I would encourage you, as you look at what buyer persona, who you're talking to, to look not only at the vet that could get so much from, from getting that flight to, to D.C. to see the memorial that he helped build in his honor. Instead, focus on the influencers. Focus on those people that can amplify your message and help you fulfill this great mission. Once again, thank you to all the veterans and anyone, if you know a veteran, uh, especially one getting up in years, please check out Honor Flight. Uh, there are local chapters all over. Uh, it's an experience that, uh, that the veteran will truly cherish and truly deserves. Until tomorrow, this is Tom Schwab with the Inbound Movement. If you would like to receive a review from an inbound expert and have your business and website featured here on the Inbound Movement, just send us a short video. Get full details at inboundmovement.com backslash feature me. Now go attract, engage, and delight your customers.